Alrighty, what do we got? Right on track. I like it. Thursday night, tequila of the week, live tasting. What do we got? Hello, hello, hello. Howdy. Let me make sure that one's looking good. Okay. What's going on, everyone? Okay, so if you are joining um, either on Instagram Live, um, or I, I think I may have actually worked out the YouTube thing. So uh, link in the bio, click on the YouTube page, click subscribe. Um, I got you live on YouTube as well. Uh, on YouTube, these videos don't disappear after 24 hours. I can actually keep them up there for good. Um, well, what can I say? Here we are, live tasting uh, the featured tequila of the week. Uh, we are on a Thursday night. I think going forward, especially during the summer, this is going to be the time slot. Um, tequila of the week post will go up on a Wednesday. And then um, Thursday night, we'll do the live tasting. At least we'll give it a couple weeks, try and see how it goes. And, um, you know, if it doesn't work out, then maybe we'll pop back to our regular uh, scheduled slot on a Wednesday evening. But for right now, this is us. Here we are live tasting this week's featured tequila of the week uh, and the question i threw up in the post this week with a bit of a teaser is is this the best value for money blanco um, or best blanco under 25 bucks available um, we have el velo um, blanco featured tequila of the week uh, nom 1137 uh, produced at Cofradia, um, had a couple tequilas popped up on here from the same distillery, um, had the opportunity to visit that distillery a couple months ago, uh, where we were taking a look at Haha ha Tequila, um, doing some tasting over there and helping develop those tequilas. Uh, stay tuned, we might get those up here at some point soon. But for right now, we have El Velo Blanco, um, where do we start? First of all, let's get some in the glass. Um, hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone has survived the last two weeks without a live tasting, uh, without a featured tequila of the week. Hope you made it by. I'm sure you guys were drinking uh, plenty of tequila without me. Pretty sure your tequila drinking isn't contingent on uh, me posting these videos on a weekly basis. So there's a closer look at the bottle over there. Um, you probably can't tell from the video, but this is actually a liter bottle. Um, I think retails for a recommended retail, 29 bucks a bottle, 29 bucks a liter. Um, and I did the math on that. It works out to uh, 24.65 roughly uh, per 750. So yes, this would qualify as one of my under $25 recommendations. Um, the question I asked is, is this the best uh, Blanco available for under 25 bucks? So we'll get straight into it. Um, produced at NOM 1137, uh, like I mentioned before, and the goal of the, uh, of the tequila, uh, when they went in developing this tequila, was to produce a uh, great value for money, but bold uh, agave forward uh, taste profile in a tequila um, that would ideally be uh, excellent in cocktails um, while not cutting any corners or using traditional techniques, um, really staying towards the traditional taste profile um, with something with really bold agave forward flavors that could uh, bring out those characteristics inside uh, well, when used in a cocktail um, but not knowing that received some of this to try, um, got into it and was kind of really impressed with just the taste profile, the flavor, the quality of the tequila. Um, and this was before I knew the price point at 29 bucks per liter. So give you guys a closer look over there. Um, some nice legs on the bottle on the glass, at least. 
Um, so immediately on the nose is, is, is agave, um, uncooked agave aromas, uh, just fresh and cooked and, and bold um, agave aromas fill the nostrils. Um, so taste wise, we're getting a, a really, uh, we're getting a lot of agave flavor, um, a good, good balance of pepper and earthy flavors. Um, but very little burn, um, uh, can't remember. And I don't like calling it this in a derogatory way, but I'm sure the, uh, the guys at Ultima and the guys that had, uh, that were involved in developing this tequila, um, will understand when I say for a well tequila, which is basically what they, uh, their goal was to be is to produce a tequila that not only kind of stayed true to traditional tequila methods, traditional agave forward tequila profile, but something that you could throw in a bar, throw in the well, make your cocktails with, the price point allows for that. Um, but wonderful quality. And for a tequila that's in that kind of category, um, cannot believe how smooth it is. Almost no ethanol burn, no burn on the finish, but really nice agave flavor, a agave forward taste profile at least. Um, little bit of earth, little bit of spice, um can't say enough good things um the bottle over here um talks about you know the rich volcanic soil in the tequila valley um staying true to that that bold agave profile um get a look at the label over there it's simple it's clean it's attractive um they're not blowing money in places that didn't need or blowing increasing costs in areas that don't need it we got a screw on plastic cap um, with the logo on the front, which uh, reminds me it's, it's mountains, it's the volcanoes over there, but it reminds me of the bat symbol. So um, I always, I laughed the first time I unboxed this tequila, um, thinking of the, uh, the Batman logo popped into my head right over there with the, uh, with the plastic stopper on the top. Um, but there it is, uh, El Veo, wonderful um rich agave flavors uh don't think it can be beat uh for for 29 bucks a liter um i know for a fact a couple of the bars that have started stocking this in dallas um one in particular are places that are really um really adamant are only stocking authentic brands that stay true to the production methods stay true to the traditional taste profiles um and they jumped on this immediately so a little bit different um, over the past few weeks. We've had some $1,600 bottles of tequila. Um, we've had some super um, high-end, limited release, aged extra añejos. This week, we have a $29 per liter um, Blanco tequila from Cofradia um, that I absolutely love. Uh, if I had my way, um, it was, should be the well tequila at every tequila bar, um, that I visit. Um, the really bold tequila, uh, agave profile comes out, um, it is very noticeable in cocktails. Um, and you know, often you, uh, what you found is I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that often you would find you probably start preferring mezcals in your cocktails as opposed to tequilas. And I found that with a lot of tequila drinkers, they enjoy drinking their tequila neat. Um, however, when it's in a cocktail, they start preferring uh, mezcals just because of the extremely bold taste profile. Um, you still get some of that agave profile in your cocktail, whereas some of the tequilas that are super smooth to sip on, um, you get in there and uh, once they're in a cocktail, you almost lose all of those characteristics. Um, so there it is. Um, El Bello Blanco um, Tequila NOM 1139 uh, produced using estate only agave um, from Cofradia. They are roller, it's roller mill crushed, it's cooked in stone and brick ovens. Uh, like I said, when I was there last year at this distillery, uh, I've got photos up there standing outside the brick ovens on top of the agave pinas. Um, really enjoyed my time at the distillery. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the name, this is also the distillery um, that has the Giant Barrel Rooms Hotel. Um, uh, Matisse's, 
uh, de Baracus. And if I'm butchering the pronunciation, again, I apologize. My Spanish needs to get better. Uh, but I'm sure you've seen, if you've been following the page for a little while, I'm sure you've seen the posts uh, from the giant barrels that we stayed in at Cafradia. Um, the time I was there last year, I was uh, working on and helping with the development of Ha Ha Tequila. Um, but same distillery, I've seen the brick ovens that the uh, piñas are cooked in to produce this. Um, I've been there, I've enjoyed the tequila straight out of the still at this distillery. Um, so this is pretty cool. Um, really enjoyed this. Like I said, very traditional. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but if, if definitely for someone making cocktails, um, this needs to be a go-to. If you're throwing a party uh, or a function for actual tequila people, um, you plan on making some cocktails or making a batch cocktail. Um, again, at that price point, it's hard to beat. Uh, pretty cool, pretty good Blanco, um, which brings me back to my question. Is this the best quality and best tasting Blanco tequila under 25 bucks that I've had? Mm, it's pretty close. Right now, I'm going to have to give it to it. Um, it gets my sticker of approval. I'm sure you saw that. Um, it gets the Tequila Wonder recommendation on the side. A um, little closer to the video right there for YouTube. Um, for the Instagram Live people, I have my iPad just below this phone um, on YouTube. So getting those up, getting all these videos up there as well, because on Instagram, these videos disappear off the 24 hours. Um, YouTube, I can keep them up there for good. So um, Tequila of the Week, El Velo. Uh, Blanco NOM 1137 uh, produced at La Cofradia and pretty great Blanco tequila at the price point 29 bucks a liter I don't think it's going to be can't beat it at that price point um, for a agave enthusiast you're getting a well type or well priced tequila um, a well tequila and priced accordingly um, with bold agave flavors good amount of earth and spice um, but none of the ethanol burn and none of the aftertaste burn um, that you're going to get with, with most tequilas in that price point right there. Um, so there we go. Again, if you're joining, um, this is the live tasting, uh, the featured tequila of the week. Um, Elvel Blanco, NOM 1137. Um, and, you know, I think, uh, so last week we didn't have one of these. I hope most of you survived. I hope you weren't running around not knowing what to do with your lives. Um, and I think what we're going to try out for a little while, which might be the way to go forward, is these posts will go up on a Wednesday. Um, I've held off from putting a full write-up on the tequila until after this video. So going forward, if you want to know my thoughts and the write-up on a specific tequila, you're going to have to wait till after these live videos, which would be the next night on Thursday nights. Here we are, 8.30 Central Time. Um, we'll live taste the tequila of the week. I'll do my best to answer some questions, um, see what everyone's doing. Um, love this opportunity once a week to interact with you guys. Um, I do apologize for not for taking a bit of a break last week, um, but we're back full force in the swing of it. Um, I've got my tequila, lime and sunshine shirt on right there. I know it's flipped around with the camera, but you know, the sun's out. I can't complain. Uh, the cold weather seems to have disappeared, at least for now, here in Texas. Um, so life is good. Um, you know, that's that's just the South African way. When the sun's shining, I got a smile on my face. I'm not complaining. So um, let's see what we got over here. If you are joining, um, let me know where you guys are joining from. Let me know what you're drinking um, right now. If you're drinking along with me, we're drinking the Alvelo. Uh, Blanco featured tequila of the week um, but whatever you guys have going on over here let me know what you're drinking let me know where you're joining from I love seeing where everyone comes in from and where everyone kind of participates in these live videos from on a weekly basis San Jose we always tend to have a good following from California California got a good uh, good group of, uh, of tequila drinkers um, so you're joining us, Eric is joining us. Oh, is that Aaron? Sorry, it's a little far away. Aaron joining us from Old Town Tequila, drinking Codigo. Um, yes, it is El Velo. 
Mike, if you're trying to get a closer look over there, um, the uh, the camera's a little better on on YouTube. Uh, the light doesn't blur out the, the label as much. But go take a look at my post that went up yesterday. Uh, I've got high def, better quality images of this bottle. I've got a close up of the back of the bottle. You can read a little bit about the the tequila, the story on the back. Um, Got to make sure I show it to, to both the YouTube live and Instagram right there. Um, go take a look at the post. What I'll do is over the next day or so, I will get the full write-up um, on this tequila right there and add it to the post that went up yesterday. But go like the page. Um, if you haven't yet, it's completely free. Go hit the link in the top of my bio or in my bio um, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, Summer's coming up. We're going to be outside a lot more. I've got a lot of fun ideas for the YouTube channel. Um, I've got some cool things that I want to film and throw up on YouTube while I travel. Um, I have some cool trips planned coming up over the next couple months. Um, so get on YouTube. Go subscribe to the channel. I promise you the content up there will be a little more interesting than just me sitting in my office tasting tequila. Um, and we will definitely get some cool stuff up there. So please go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, and these videos will be on the YouTube channel for good. Whereas on Instagram live over here, they are disappearing after 24 hours. So if you're not able to join in or follow um, for the whole hour, or you miss the live tasting of the tequila of the week on a Thursday night, uh, go in there and uh, for subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, and we can go from there. Brent, what's going on? Uh, thanks for joining us. And the coolest thing about the world we live in right now is I get to see as you people are subscribing to the YouTube channel because I'm getting my notifications on the phone um, on the screen I'm looking at. So Brandon, thank you, sir. Appreciate the subscribe. Um, if you're joining, we're drinking this week's featured tequila of the week. Go read all about it in yesterday's post. The information will be up there um, after this video. Uh, or most likely tomorrow at some point because I'm not going to be writing that up at, at 10 o'clock tonight. So tomorrow the write-up will be on there. But going forward, if you want to hear about the tequila of the week before the write-up goes up, just tune in over here on Thursday nights, 8.30 Central. Um, and it's a cool chance for us to have, have a little discussion, um, talk about the tequila, taste the tequila, um, maybe taste some other things, talk about some other tequilas, um, and that's about it. You know, there's no real structure to these. Uh, we just kind of play it by ear. So if you guys have questions, um, I will do my best to answer them. I saw, I think it was Aaron about 10 minutes ago asking about the orange class Azul bottle over there. Um, I didn't miss that. I will get to that. It is a, um, it's the Dia de los Muertos, uh, limited edition bottle from 2018. So every year for Day of the Dead, in honor of the Day of the Dead celebration, uh, Class Azul brings out a kind of limited edition bottle. Every year is a little different. That was the 2018 bottle um, for I Lie. I think that was the 2017 bottle um, for the Day of the Dead. Um, one of my favorites over there, if you go and look through my posts, if you scroll far enough back, I've got some cool photos of that one as well. Um, definitely one of the coolest bottles I've ever produced. Um, between that and the bottle over there that could probably buy a new car for me, um, those are the uh, those are the two best clusters of bottles, I think, in my personal opinion. Um, so who have we got joining? Oh, Compaveda, what's up, guys? Hope you're good. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, tequila to take to the beach, yes. Um, whatever you say, my love. Um, Wife is the boss. Whatever you want me to bring to the beach, we got it. Um, all right. So who have we got going on over here? Oh, Mr. Time and Tequila himself. Sir, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm hoping by doing these on a Thursday night, we'll get a few more people to join in. Hopefully a few more of you will be able to drink along with me. Um, Wednesday nights were great while they lasted. I think it's time to switch it up a little bit. And, um, you know, I think Thursday night's a little closer to the weekend for most people. It'll allow people to get on here and drink with me a little bit more and, and interact. There we go. Awesome. Um, so what do I have to say? All right. 
Featured tequila of the week. Um, the write-up will go up, but the post went up yesterday. Um, so go take a look at the uh, detailed photographs of this week's featured tequila of the week. Um, right now, at this point in my life, there's a couple of them that I've been told I need to try that I haven't had yet. But for right now, um, this has to take the cake for the best tequila I've had under 25 bucks a bottle. Um, especially for a tequila drinker, for someone who appreciates a really agave forward profile. Um, this is, this is, this is hard to beat. Gets the sticker. Don't forget the sticker. Respect the sticker. Uh, tequila Wonder recommend, recommended. Um, got the sticker on the bottle and that's what we're sipping right here. But, um, let's see what we got. Where's everyone joining from? I know for a fact a bunch of you guys are joining from California. Um, got it over there. Um, that bro p peter i believe i know we haven't interacted for a while peter i think it's peter it's peter or paul if i got it wrong i apologize but i believe you're in illinois um yeah respect the sticker mike got it done florida i love it i need some florida in my life portugal very cool eduardo uh where in portugal are you joining from i like it very cool what's the time in portugal is it like 5 a.m. in Portugal? Aren't we seven hours ahead? Seven? Yeah. I th it's, it's literally 5, 5.30 a.m. or 4.30 a.m. in Portugal, right? Pretty impressive. I like it. <laughs> there's a good chance. There's a good chance you weren't planning on. You're sitting in a cab on the way home. Oh, it's 1.52. Okay, so I was completely off. Anyway, very good. I love it. So we got, we got Europe in the house. Um, I haven't seen any Japan yet. We normally have a pretty cool following from Japan. Um, haven't seen any of my friends in South Africa. It's probably a little bit early, but my friends in Australia um, should be lunchtime on a Friday afternoon. This should be, uh, this should be your go-to. I hope you guys are tuning in. Um, live tasting this week's featured tequila of the week. Um, I've been telling everyone I am doing these now. Um, this is streaming to YouTube right down there as well. Hello YouTube, uh, at the same time. So uh, they will be available. These videos will be up on YouTube for good. Whereas on Instagram, they disappear after 24 hours. Uh, and this is our new time slot. The posts for Tequila of the Week will still go up on a Wednesday, um, but the live tastings are gonna start being on Thursdays. So we're gonna see how this goes, at least for the summer, um, try it out. And uh, we'll roll with this one for now. Um, so what else have I got for you? Um, if you guys have questions, fire away. Um, you know, normally about half the time in these videos, I'll talk about the featured tequila of the week. A quarter of the time, we'll talk about other tequilas. Um, and the other quarter of the time, I'm just open to chat about anything, anything but politics. I'm, anything's on the table except politics and religion. Um, outside of that, nothing's off limits. Um, fire away. Um, I have over here, and I posted a little video of it before, a um, little accident that I had occur um, earlier this week. So the good news is it was empty um, and turning a bad situation into something positive. I think I'm going to make myself a coffee mug out of this. I just need to work out how to put a, uh, put a handle on it and then I'll just bevel down and polish off the top. But I think I got myself a new coffee mug. Um, we'll see how we get that done. Um, at the very least, it's going to turn into a pot plant for an agave plant. Um, or as a last resort, I guess I could just send it over to my friends at Mad Candle Co. And they could do something like this with it. Um, turn it into a candle. This is a Grand Patron bottle over there um, that they turned in to a pretty beautiful smelling candle. Um, so we got some options. Stay tuned to see what becomes of the game over Klaus Azul ceramic bottle. Um, can't, I don't know if I can tell people how exactly this broke because it involves a one and a half year old and I don't think I should be publicly talking about how a one and a half year old had access to a bottle of tequila. It was empty though. So we'll just leave that at there. We're not putting anything um, um, 
Um, well, there's plenty of cocktails you can make with this, but just margarita, paloma, any of the traditional ones, um, it's going to be great because I think it is going to, uh, you're really going to have those bold agave flavors coming out. And I really think that's going to help, um, just improve the cocktail altogether. Really, it's going to be great in margaritas. It's going to be great in a paloma, even though I don't like palomas personally. Um, just pretty much great in any tequila cocktail that you're mixing that in. Um, because you're not losing that agave profile, whereas um, some of the smoother, um, lighter profiled Blanco tequilas, um, you end up losing a bit of that profile. Once it goes into a cocktail, you can't almost taste that it's tequila at all. So um, that's why I like it. I think, um, and I could be wrong, Brandon from Altamar is on here. So um, you can let us know. But I think uh, Las Almas, Las Almas Rotas in Dallas, currently stocks this in their well. Um, if the guys from Las Elmas happen to watch this video, please comment, let us know, let me know if I'm accurate with this. Um, I think that was correct, but, but either way, um, pretty impressive. The first time I tasted this, I was going through uh, Tequila Matchmaker app, rating the tequila, um, going through it, rating the tequila, and I got to the very last part of the rating, which is, um, your value for money and I didn't actually know. So I sent Brandon a text and asked him what the price was at which point when I found out it was 29 bucks per liter, um, was blown away. Couldn't believe it. I definitely would have, uh, if my guess would have been something closer to 40, um, because that's what it's, what it's comparable to. Um, you know, a couple other Blancos that I have here cause I just unboxed them earlier. Um, one of my all time favorites, the El Tesoro Blanco, one of the most, consistent Blanco is one of the most consistent tequila brands in general. Um, thank you, uh, Carlos Camarena and El Tesoro for the gift package that I unboxed today. Video went up earlier. Um, I love my agave plant. Um, go take a look at the story on that. I need you guys to name my new agave plant that is sitting in the window the windowsill. Um, have to have to name it. So I'm going to leave that up to you guys. The best suggestion. Um, that agave plants getting that name, but thank you for the care package. Thank you for the note um, And thank you for the El Tesoro tequila. You can never have Too much El Tesoro. I have plenty up there and I can can always do with more um, Mr. Brandon Cummins uh, Would definitely approve of this some tequila Ocho Los Patos 2016 Los Patos um, These are uh, the Blancos I plan on blind tasting um, either tomorrow or at some point um, at some point over the weekend do a little blind tasting with these three Blancos right here obviously in very different price categories um, but the goal of it is to be is to really make sure that I haven't got a biased opinion of this uh, bargain value for money Blanco over here that I rated so high on the tequila match app so uh, what I'll do is I'll get these poured in three different in three different but the same type of glass because you know as the experts on you would know the type of glass you drink it out of can change the taste slightly um and then i'll get my wife to remember which one's which but i'm going to do a blind tasting where i have no idea which is which uh, and then blind rate them that way and see if i still think um this el velo is the uh best value for money Best under $25 bottle of Blanco um, I've had to date. Now, I saw someone mention up there, um, they were talking about uh, Los Altos. Um, Los Altos is really good. Um, I think if I had to pick them right now, um, my value for money Blancos um, would be obviously this one right here. That's why I'm featuring it, and that's why I got this sticker. And like Mike said, respect the sticker. I like that. That's going to be my new hashtag. Hashtag respect the sticker. Um, this one right here, um, Los Altos Blanco is definitely up there as well. Actually, the Reposado, because the Reposado still comes in around 25 bucks. Um, and then Espelon is really good as well. Um, of those three, I would still pick this one um, right now. I think this is still better than all three of those. But all three are you know, the best of the three, at least. Um, 
but those other two definitely deserve a special mention. Um, as of right now, that's the bet. Now, Ariette, Ariette, uh, I've been told I need to get my hands on that Blanco. It's in a similar price point and I've heard really good things. Um, there's a couple other Blancos that people have told me about um, that are in that $25, um, $25 price point that I, need to, that I need to try. But as of right now, my recommendation under 25 bucks um, is gonna be El Velo, Espelon, and uh, Los Altos. That'll be, that'll be my three. And uh, yeah, there we go. Brandon's already got it. We're gonna get that trending. Respect the sticker, hashtag respect the sticker. Tequila Wander recommended, got the sticker on the bottle. Um, hopefully it doesn't uh, make the bottle too much, or make it any uglier, ruin the appearance of it right there. But there we go, can't say enough good things about it. It's this week's featured tequila of the week. Um, detailed write-up will go up um, at some point in the next 24 hours. This video will be on Instagram, in my storyline for the next 24 hours. Um, and down there on YouTube, hi YouTube, um, I doubt anyone's watching on YouTube because I don't have any following on there yet. Um, but on YouTube, this video will be up permanently. So none of this uh, disappear in 24 hours stuff. Um, so there we go. Um, if you haven't, go hit the link in my bio and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It is absolutely free. Um, I need to build a following over there. I promise I've got some really cool videos coming up um, planned and some cool projects for the summer. Um, they're not all tequila related. Um, they will all have some tequila. Uh, I want to be able to take you guys on some of my travels that I have planned. Um, have some, some random way out there things. Um, Going to touch on a few of my other passions and loves. Um, as a lot of you know, I, I, I love golf. I used to try, I used to play, um, for a living. Um, it's still one of my loves. I love getting out on the golf course, um, have some potential trips to some really amazing golf courses this year. Um, some really cool travels, some distillery visits, um, and then some, some wacky wild ass shit that I, uh, that I hope I can make happen. Um, but you know, touching on around some of my other passions, which is cars so cars golf tequila uh mostly tequila but go subscribe to the youtube channel um these videos will be up on youtube permanently they won't disappear in 24 hours um i kind of want to move this it just looks weird because people that are joining in now don't know the backstory and they just see a broken bottle sitting over there but um for the people that just joined it was an accident but i think i'm going to make it a coffee mug coffee mug or a pot plant or a candle um to be continued we'll see what happens with that one right there um but there we go um mike joining us uh back in illinois i presume uh let's see where everyone's coming in from it's pretty cool we had eduardo in portugal um obviously ton in california we got florida california um handful in texas um uh, haven't seen any Japan. I think we saw Australia. We do. So there we go. Um, again, just a testament. Oh, Austin, Texas. You're in my backyard. Um, Kansas City. I like it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'd never wish that on anyone having to go to Orlando. Uh, hopefully no one is from Orlando. But uh, worst airport in the U.S. Um, arguably the worst airport um, that I've ever been to. And... Um, that says a lot because I was uh, stuck in Senegal for 24 hours against my will. Um, and I still think Orlando airport is worse. So nothing against Orlando. Orlando is pretty cool. Aaron, A. Stu, if you're watching, um, love coming down to Orlando. Just do not like traveling through the airport. Um, if I have my way, I'll fly into Tampa and drive. Uh, that's the way to do it. So... Okay, we have Anna joining from Jalisco. I like it, Anna. Um, I had a little talk about your hotel um, a little bit earlier when we were talking about this. Anna um, is in charge of, uh, I'm not sure what her title is. Maybe she can let us know, but I believe sales um, and, and manages the marketing and sales for um, the Matisse's, the Baracus Hotel, which is the barrel hotel that I'm sure you've seen my posts about. 
um, which is at Kofradia, which is the distillery that makes this week's tequila of the week. So there we go. That's the connected dots. Um, see what's going on. So I, I like that. We got uh, Central America, North America, Europe, Australasia. Um, we got a lot of the regions covered over here tonight, which is great. It's great seeing the. Um, it's great seeing the, uh, the the how far the love for agave spirits really does spread around the world. Even though it's a very um, the designation of where you can produce tequila is a very small area. Um, it's pretty cool to see that the passion for agave spirits is uh, far exceeds those boundaries. Um, ba 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 ba. Went through. Well, there we go. So I'm not the only one who, who thinks really high of uh, of this as a as a bar tequila. Um, La Cava at the Epcot, huh? Have not been there. I guess I have to make it happen. Um, trying to get Haida on our podcast. Very cool. Um, if you guys haven't seen. Um, I was lucky enough to join the guys um, with uh, Tequila Tasters or Tequila Testers, sorry, on their podcast a couple of weeks ago. Um, so go check out Margaritas Texas. Um, check out their podcast from a couple of weeks ago. We actually uh, tasted the Codigo and the El Tesoro Reposados next to each other. Um, I made a little guest appearance via Skype. Um, really fun, great chatting to the guys. They got a good thing going over there. Really cool, uh, really, really cool uh, podcast. And uh, hopefully I'll end up on there again at some point. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully I didn't ruin my chances of coming back. But that was pretty cool. Go check out their page. I'm sure they have a link to their um, to their YouTube channel and to their podcasts. Um, and on that topic of YouTube, uh, it's been a while since I've seen any notifications of people subscribing to the channel. Please go. Do I have to beg? I am begging you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, my following on YouTube is terrible. I think a, a whole hundred of you are on there and about 85 of those are sympathy subscribes. And at this point I'll take sympathy subscribe. So go check out the YouTube channel. I promise I got some cool stuff coming up at the very least. These live videos, um, will be on YouTube permanently, whereas they'll disappear in 24 hours over here on Instagram. So, um, uh, what bottle do you not see in the collection? What do we got over there? I can't see. Send me a DM. I'd love to put it in there. Um, I've never said no to at least trying a tequila. Um, try everything once. That's my motto. So don't judge until you try it. Don't judge something on other people's opinions. Try it for yourself. Um, we mentioned this multiple times before, um, you know, the best way to say it is the, the best tequila there is, is the one you enjoy drinking the most. So um, don't ever make your decisions on a tequila based on someone else's opinion. Maybe you get guided by that, but ultimately if it's what you enjoy, um, you go with that. So for that reason alone, I'm always down to try anything. Um, if you wanna get me some, shoot me a DM, I'll get you my address and uh, would love to taste um, any new tequila that's out there. Uh, I've got a few boxes behind me over here that I still need to get into. Uh, Trent, uh, I saw you on there a little second ago, Trent Fraser with Vulcan. Um, thank you very much. Appreciate the gift. I will unbox those and get sipping um, at some point too, soon. And uh, Zach and Bryce, um, I have the Una Vida back there. Um, Looking forward to getting into that and doing a, doing a more in-depth tasting of that as well. But some great new tequilas um, to get into and to taste. Um, really looking forward to it. I know I have a few more on the way this week or at least coming in next week. And uh, looking forward to that. So um, what have we got over here? I'm getting better at reading these questions and at uh, talking about the tequila at the same time. Um, like I said, your questions don't have to be tequila related. Um, see what you got. Throw me any question you got. We'll see if I can give you a good answer for it. But um, recapping, go hit the link in my bio, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can watch these videos and other cool plans that I've got coming up um, anytime you want. 
won't be disappearing in 24 hours. If you're just joining, we are live tasting the featured tequila of the week. Um, El Velo Blanco, produced at NOM 1137 at La Cofradia. Um, it is roller mill crushed agave, estate sourced agave, roller mill crushed, cooked in brick ovens, um, distilled in stainless steel stills. Um, and it is a traditional taste profile, a wonderful agave forward taste profile tequila, um, a very affordable, uh, affordable well style tequila that is ideal for cocktails, but they have not cut any corners in the production. Um, and it is something that a true tequila enthusiast um, can still really enjoy neat. Um, I'm looking really forward to trying this Reposado. <clears throat> hint, hint, Brandon, if you're still watching. Um, really interested in trying this Reposado, but for right now, um, this has to be my best Blanco available for under 25 bucks. Um, really good. Honorable mentions. Um, like I said, honorable mentions to Espelon and to Los Altos. Um, but right now, this one takes the cake. And I know I have a few more to taste. Um, Grant, a few of my other friends have been telling me. Um, there's a few I need to try, so I will do that. But for right now, this one's got my vote. Um, 29 bucks a liter. Um, and it's just really enjoyable sipping tequila. Um, great stuff. Just can't beat it. Strong, bold agave profile, um, almost no burn. Um, none of that burn you would normally get from a well tequila. Um, and, you know, like I said, I've been where they make this. Can't say enough good things about it. Great group of people. And I know the guys at Ultima worked really closely um, with Carlos Hernandez to develop this um, agave forward, traditional tasting, uh, ideal for cocktails, Blanco tequila. So there it is, the tequila of the week. Go like the post that went up yesterday. Um, go go take a look at it. Go take a look at the better quality photos. Um, the images I have of the bottle right there. You can read a little bit more about it on the back in the detailed photographs. I'll put a full write-up um, at some point in the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, I've already rated it on Tequila Match. I believe it came in at an 83 out of 100, which for you know my rating is pretty strict. Um, 93 is the highest I've ever given anything, I believe. So um, again, at that price point, can't beat it. Uh, go check it out. Try to get your hands on it. Um, I'm sure if you go to their Instagram page or shoot their DM them through Instagram, um, you can get an idea of where you can find it or where uh, what local place near you is stocking it in their well. Um, you know what? And if they're not, ask your local bar why they aren't stocking this as their well. Um, so there we go. What do we got? Yes, you did, Mike. Um, I think anyone who follows me on that app knows which one I rated at 93. Um, so I might have to readjust all of my ratings because I've noticed um, of the panel members that are on Tequila Matchmaker, I tend to rate a little bit low. Um, you know, the tequila I consider the, the absolute best, I'm putting it about a 93 where some of the other people, if they think it's great and it's one of their favorites, is about a 98. So I might have to adjust everything up um, to get that El Tesoro 70th anniversary at like a 97 and then work everything back and get everyone's rating up um, to put everything more in line. But um, we'll see, you know, maybe in a few years when I actually have time to sit down and do that, we'll, we'll get that done. But for right now, um, there we are. Faded Golf. What's up, guys? Thanks for joining. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's the tequila of the week um, at this point. Um, love, Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Really enjoyed it. Uh, love interacting with you guys. Actually missed it a little bit last week when I wasn't able to do this. Uh, but going forward... This is gonna be the uh, this is gonna be the time slot Thursday nights 8:30 Central. Um, we will this post will go up with the featured tequila of the week on a Wednesday, and then the following day at 8:30 p.m. Central time we'll do this live tasting. Um, right now I have it streaming on YouTube as well. So hello YouTube, um, all 
zero people following live, which is great. But the cool thing about YouTube is um, it stays up there, whereas this Instagram live disappears in 24 hours. Um, these reviews and these tastings should be up on, Inst on YouTube at least permanently. Uh, and then as I get my travels uh, rolling through the summer, I've got some really cool ideas and some cool trips planned. Um, I definitely going to make sure that those get documented and get up on YouTube um, to do some of that stuff. So mostly tequila on YouTube, a little bit of golf, a little bit of dabbling into my passion for cars, um, maybe sometimes blend all three, um, but travel and tequila is the main name of the game. Um, Instagram is still going to be the main platform, but if you haven't, hit the link in my bio, go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, which you're on because I'm seeing that there's zero people following on YouTube. But if you follow this on YouTube or come across this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, go back and check out some of my older featured tequilas of the week. Um, I like to change it up. We've had $1,600 bottles of extra Añejo. We've had some high end, hard to find rare vintage extra Añejos. Um, a little bit of every expression. Um, and today we have a $29 a bottle or $29 per liter um, Blanco tequila that I can't say enough good stuff about um, that for right now takes the cake, wins my vote of approval um, for uh, bargain Blanco, if you want to call it that, value for money. Uh, it got the sticker, respect the sticker, Tequila Wanderer recommended. Um, Great stuff. El Velo Blanco. Go check it out. Ask your local bar why they don't have it in their well. Um, good stuff. Um, again, thanks for joining everyone. Um, loved you guys joining in. Really love this chance to interact with you guys on a weekly basis. Um, if you have ideas for things you want to see on the YouTube channel coming up over the next six months, shoot me a DM. Shoot me your ideas. Um, we're definitely going to get way more active on YouTube. Um, but these will still be here Thursday nights, tequilas of the week. Go like the post that went up yesterday. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel. What's up, Marcus? You're catching us on the tail end. Um, go back and watch it. It'll be on YouTube for good. Um, it's not going to be restricted to the 24 hours. If you're on Instagram, go hit the, go take a look at the live video in my Instagram feed. It'll be this video, this tasting of the tequila of the week will be up for 24 hours. Outside of that, that's all I got for you guys. Love you guys tuning in. Hope to see you next week. We'll have some fun stuff next week. There it is. One more time. El Velo Blanco featured tequila of the week. Thanks for tuning in. I love it. I got my shirt on tequila, lime and sunshine. The weather has turned good. Everything is good in the world. We've got tequila. We've got warm weather. Um, I love it. Keep wandering. Drink Mexican. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Salute.